Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Bell Revolver Evo modular helmet. Looking at the Bell Revolver Evo, it's a step forward from the original Bell Revolver that we saw in 2011. The feedback on the Bell Revolver was that it was very popular, it was a complete new market segment for Bell, and nobody had really done a really aggressive looking modular flip face helmet. When I say modular, I immediately mean that the chin bar is going to go up. But what they found with their first iteration in 2011, that it was a bit noisy. People were having some issues with the gasket around the face shield, with some wind noise from underneath, and they said, you know what, people love this helmet at around $200, it's a home run, let's see if we can go back to the drawing board, make it a hair more quiet, and let's release basically a, a half step forward version that's gonna address some of the key issues. So if you look, in front of me I have the new Revolver Evo. It's gonna come in solids, you're looking at the matte black that I'm gonna basically break down for this full video. And what I really wanna do is briefly show the scratch pinstripe version, which is something we haven't seen yet from Bell, which is a more aggressive version here on a modular helmet with pinstripes over matte black that really, really set it off. Check that bad boy out, move this guy over to the side. So. We talked about the changes. The changes are going to be the new iPort gasket. It's going to be more quiet. Other key change is going to be a chin curtain built into the bottom here that's going to keep cold air out. It's also going to add in the encompassing effect underneath and around the chin to keep air, air noise down. We're also going to see is that we have a new sun visor mechanism. When I pull it down here, my mechanism underneath, different shape to the anti-fog, anti-scratch sun, sun visor that is retractable. So again, it's a bit more full spectrum, it's a bit more all-encompassing. They said, let's change the shape and give people better coverage because nothing's worse than folks with different head shapes and different facial features that might, might have the old one where it might have cut them off in the middle. And again, to work that, you're looking at down here along the bottom, spring-loaded, easy to find, easy to use with a glove on. Notice it works that well. You're still having from Bell, you know, looking at this helmet, a lot of the features do carry over. So the first thing is you're gonna notice it's the similar shield that we're gonna see on the RS1 on the Vortex and the Star, so you can get that photochromic shield, which is awesome. Also, vent configuration from last year. You still have three intakes, two two-position chimneys up here on the top. So one position, two position on both sides. They're gonna vent directly through the EPS to the head, and then you're gonna have an open and close down here on the chin. As far as the modular mechanism, the button's going to be underneath. There's my button. It's going to come up. This is going to be a DOT helmet. It's very hard to do Snell or ECE on modulars. You typically don't see it happen. It's going to be a DOT helmet on a polycarbonate shell. And polycarbonate really is a basic, it's a strong fiber, but it's going to be basic. Again, remember, we're right around that $200 price point. If we look here on the side, you also have aluminum mechanisms for the locking mechanism here on the hinge. So when it comes down and locks into place, you get a nice solid seal. As far as the removal of the face shield, very, very easy. I'm gonna spin it this way, do one side, do the other side. Very simple to put it back on. Bell has one of the most simple mechanisms in the industry. Double snap and down and you're done. And this is the Nutra fog free system. So there is a coating that's going to be on this shield as well to keep it fog free. Moving to the back, let's talk about exhaust. We all know, if you watched our videos, that when you have a sphere, which is a helmet, moving at high speed through the air, what happens is you get this area of vacuum behind the helmet as air comes over the curved surface, surface of the top. Then you're going to have these big venturi vents that have cowls around them. You also have some winglet vents down here on the side. And what that's going to do is this area of low pressure actually pulls warm, moist air out of the helmet, out of the back, and it's gonna, the air gets forced in through the front, circulates around your head, Hopefully keeps you cool, keeps you comfortable, pulls that sweat away, and that's going to get sucked out through the back. So let me pull my donut over here now, and let's start to break this guy down a little bit further. So we're going to look at it from the bottom. Again, we talked about the new chin curtain. Might as well open it up. Other things they've incorporated here, as I'm starting to pull out the cheek pads, make sure that I'm undone here. Notice they're using the Magnafusion, which is making its way to almost all bells at this point. So the strap keeper stays in place via magnet. It's nice. It's not going to flap on you. Undo my double D-ring. And let's start to break down cheek pads. So cheek pads, fully removable, neck roll. They've added the mesh here, and this mesh is going to allow you to have full access to a Bluetooth unit, and the speakers would actually sit in a recessed speaker pocket. If you can see in here as well, see it just right in there. You're going to see that recessed cutaway that's going to allow you to hide that pocket so it's not going to create any thickness that might press on your ear on longer rides. Fully removable, fully washable wicking interior. There's my contoured cheek pads that are going to sit against your face. 
And as I pull this guy down, you're going to see that we have a microfiber strap with that mesh material that's going to wick again along the chin strap. And now we can pull the comfort liner out. A few snaps in the back. And one of the things I like that they do is along the front here, you're going to see along the front it's not snaps. It actually sits in this brow area. And pop it out here. And what you do by having this is still this 3D liner. It's going to be foam with cutaways, so you're going to get that venting from the top of the EPS. You know, the vent channels go right to your head. But what they do here in the front is by not having snaps that live up along the brow, what you're doing is you're taking the pressure points away. So there's no chance to get any hot spots on your forehead because up towards your forehead, there's actually no snaps like there are here in the back. They go underneath, underneath your occipital ridge there on the back of your head, and these really typically don't get in the way. Now, if we look here into the EPS, you're going to see big vent channels towards the forehead. As I rotate back, you see those channels that go out the venturi area or the back of the helmet. Again, you're getting a lot of bang for the buck out of a modular, more aggressively styled, really just around that, just over that $200 price point helmet. It comes in high vis, comes in a rally graphic, which Bell has done really well for a while. It's going to come in the scratch graphic, which we talked about earlier. And then you have matte black, gloss black, silver, as well as white. Again, there's no, there's no secret why this is one of the staple helmets for 2011 at Revzilla. And it's nice to see Bell taking on what they did, making some slight improvements, and rolling out a completely redesigned helmet for 2012. Remember, we want to hear what you think about the Bell Revolver Evo. So if you're seeing it for the first time or you're currently riding in it, leave us your feedback on the product page, on our YouTube page. Love it hate it, like it, dislike it. We want to hear from you. And if you have any questions, shoot us a line. See us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, it's over 39 bucks. It's going to ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back to us. And you can earn Teamzilla cash on any order at Revzilla.com. Over 100 bucks to be applied to your next order. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the Bell Revolver Evo helmet, which honestly I didn't really nitpick at for the price point and the amount of functionality. I don't really have anything negative to say about this bad boy. Find it at revzilla.com slash bell. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.